Okay, so that's it for the drawing part. Now we're gonna go on to the painting. Let's start with the sand. To make a sandy color, we're gonna use the colors white, yellow, red, and blue. Start with some yellow and red to make orange. So, I will eventually take the yellow paint. There we go. Add a dollop. I know I'm using a lot. Like I would consider that kind of a lot. Um, but I can assure you that I am using all the paint, most of the paint that we use during this session. Um, but yeah. You only need a little bit of red, to be honest, to mix with the yellow to make um, orange. Here I feel like it looks very dark, but use your discretion. Just know that whatever darker color you use will overpower your lighter color. And I will say it looks like it's taking me a long time to mix these colors because it is um, since I'm using a very tiny paintbrush. I probably should have picked a bigger one, but this is, you know, me teaching you guys how to use what you have. All right. So when you're happy or happy enough with the shade of orange that you have, you're going to add a dollop of white right next to it. This is how we're going to lighten up the orange to make it look a little bit more tan, like, you know, sand color. And I would say put the orange into the white, not vice versa. You will not get where you need to be if you do it the other way. I mean, maybe, but it would take a lot of paint. Here I am mixing. I'm just going to continually add little dollops of the darker orange that I made. And there I go, bloop, bloop, bloop. As you can see, painting takes time, but I promise you, it's worth it. And you guys wanted the turtle painting, so I'm giving you the turtle painting. If you hear that um, whirring sound in the background, that is my laptop. Everything is fine though. <laughs> But I also do want to remind you guys that just because I'm making the sand this color, which in hindsight looks a little, little pinkish for me, that's fine. Um, you can do whatever color you want for your sand and your turtles and everything we make. So you might be thinking, Allie, this color is way too warm toned to be sand. Okay, I know. So. To cool this color down, you're going to add some blue, like a teeny little bit of blue. Like, see what I'm doing? Do that. Pro tip, when you're mixing colors and you feel like it's too intense, add a little, little bit of its complementary color. Yes, complementary colors, like on the color wheel. Those are two colors that are opposite each other on the wheel. I really do be an art teacher. I'm glad my degree is getting me somewhere. I haven't gotten my degree yet. I haven't graduated yet, but I will very soon. I hope, maybe, if it's not canceled. So anyway, um, keep playing around until you're happy with what you have. I think what I was trying to do here is make you a little bit more tan. I haven't been to the beach in a very long time, as you can see. Um, so my sand, it's very cool toned and I'm adding a little bit more yellow because you know why not so feel free to keep adding in different colors to get the correct shade that you're feeling 
and that you're happy. You can even continue mixing the colors while you're painting on your canvas or sheet of paper, whatever you're using. You also don't really need to take up this much space on your palette. But you know what? You do you, and I'll do me. And once you're happy with what you have, we can now fill in the sand areas on our canvas. And it's okay if you like go outside of the lines when you're painting over. Depending on what you're using, you'll probably with your first layer be able to see behind the paint. So you're fine. And with that said, depending on what kind of paper and what kind of paint or material you're using, you might have to do more than one layer if you want it to be opaque or not be able to see like the lines in the background. I always do everything in two layers. But yeah, so don't worry too much about staying within the lines. The colors we're using on top of this sandy color are going to be a little bit darker, or maybe a lot darker. Um, so you won't really see those mistakes. But we're also doing a beach. So nothing is too, like, lines aren't too opaque, too sharp, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, so I'm going to speed this part up just a little bit, maybe a lot. I don't think you really want to sit through me painting this entire part. I think it originally lasted like 10 minutes, so no thanks. Um, but feel free, if I am going too fast for you guys, to pause the video. I think I will add timestamps in the description or something like that. So if you need to go back to a certain part, you'll have those there for you. Hello, I am back with my narration. As you can see, I am finishing up my second, or maybe third layer of this sand color. On the video, it looks very pink, but I can assure you that at the end, after all is said and done, maybe it's the camera, I use my phone, um, it looks way more sandy like colored whatever your definition of sand color is. So way more like yellow, brown, tannish. I hope you guys are finishing up too. We were actually at paint night. I would not be at this point. I'd probably be like running around between all of you guys, helping you guys wherever you need. All right, so when you finished filling your sand in, take the paint that you have left of that color. Now, we're gonna add a teeny 
little bit of black to make a shade of your color. If you remember the turtle trail I was talking about, that's what we're filling in next. You don't need a lot of black. I would start by just taking an itty bitty bit, uh, dab onto your paintbrush and then adding a little bit more in each time just so you can watch how the color changes because you don't want it to be too dark unless that's what you're going for. You do want it to be noticeably different from the shade that we originally have. And to make it a little bit more intense, what I'm doing here is adding in the original shade of orange into the one that we used for the sand. And just keep adding until you feel like that's the color a shadow on the sand would look like. So just keep adding little itty bits of black. Same with the orange. Whatever you need. Whatever you feel like gets you to that color. It's me again. So, once you're happy with the color that you have, you can start filling in those wavy little lines or that outline that you have. Again, don't worry about being varying the lines. It's okay if it's not. Sometimes it might be hard depending on what size paintbrush or Whatever you're using may be. I know I had that problem. Maybe not a problem. But I had that little. Little thing going on too. Hello, I am back again. As you can see, I am also doing another layer of the darker sandy color just to fill it in and make it more opaque. And as I'm finishing, this is also just to prepare you guys for the next step. So, once you're ready, um, just make sure you have your paper towel nearby, not that you wouldn't already, but a separate, clean, brand new sheet of paper towel. 